What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get into it. So, last time we got into the casino, Rouge is supposed to be here, so all this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let me be that legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Bub. Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part of the business tycoon, part of purvey or of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Paburge Chow egg. <gasps> Yo, the Chow. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for a clue. I deduce that the Faberge Chow egg is here in the train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here. And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Uh, blueprints. I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints. Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh, 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 finders keepers, sweetheart. So, uh, I kind of just got right into the story. Last episode, I, like, totally botched the audio i like lost all the game audio but this time it's allegedly capturing it that's a good thing <laughs> so there's a problem here we need your assessment i can't speak now i was i took myself out of it what kind of problem the elevator behind the security guard led us right to the room holding the faber's chow egg but we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card we need a plant <laughs> We need a plan to get that car to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Faberge Chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. It sounds like a fine business for venture. Ah, uh, her, lo her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking rules must be refreshing for a princess. Alex, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. It's time for a five-finger discount. Don't even know what that means. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Alex are in it. Okay, let's get that Faberge Chow egg. Heh. <laughs> That's a ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. <laughs> oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the plant. Fa Faberge Chow Egg Room. Oh, check it out. Look at these cute little drawings. Uh, room is behind the locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard? So obviously, what are we going to bribe it with? I mean, I guess they're tycoons, but only in lore. Attack the guard. I don't think violence is a solution. I think I'm gonna have to distract the guard. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. <laughs> Alex, is everything okay? I've never used... Ugh, I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Yeah. Uh... I think they're just, uh, pulling you- they're- the, you're the bait, man. Bruh, I'm the bait. Okay, who's is it? <laughs> yeah. It- whoa! We're picking somebody else out of Tails. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that, Vita. <laughs> I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, really, I could do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think you'll be better off elsewhere. In that case, who should we choose? Uh, let's pick... We're gonna make Blaze do it. So I'm gonna pick Rouge. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my Fenomen Chars? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a Chow. 
Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Who's distracting the security guard? Blaze. No, wait, they moved it. Well, yeah, Blaze. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. That's funny. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can... Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's got pictures. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> With the guard distracted, Rouge, we'll have you be able to get the access card. Um... Grab them and fly up to the rafters, pick their pocket, ask for the card. Yeah, we're gonna steal. That chow in a uniform will notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No problems. Holy cow, you can hear my keyboard. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. Alex, what's your plan? Uh... Pretend you're Blaze's spouse, then you'd be marrying me into the ro you then you'd be married in the royal family. What's your heritage? A any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, well, I uh, you dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashion immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. With the card obtained, we need to get blah, 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 blah. say there's a drink without a coaster. That's probably the answer. Let's go push the guard over. We're gonna start a fight. No violence. It's just a little push. That chow's low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, it'd bring one unwanted attention to us. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? Decent point. Ba ba ba. B b b. Okay, fine. There's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable, I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the cigar, we all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it into the elevator. Inside, we celebrate, dance, pop some apple cider, sing victory a cappella. These are all goofy. Uh, let's, let's sing. That's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five them. This ends our claws. I'm not touching him. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's learn think this. Okay, okay. They all humored my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. What do we do? Uh, tie them in a big knot. Uh, my shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here? I don't know how to tie a knot. Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Yeah, someone didn't want to hear my song. Uh, have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us to a nice question. I need to read better. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope they sympathize. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is... What? What? Did I do something wrong? Okay, it's time. Let's see the elevator. Bro, the... the dialogue is really crisp in this game there's just a lot of funny fluff in it i like it i like picking the wrong answers i don't want to miss any of it i knew the plan would go out of oh if we were done wouldn't have made it this far without you both you have my gratitude our plan beforehand was very thorough and i must admit and it was executed to perfection Enough chatter, now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. 
Let's claim our fabregay chow egg. He he. Watch it not work. Bum, bu, 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 bu. Oh wait, <laughs> Dude, don't sing those. Click on the stuff. We got the big safe and a small safe. I want the money. Oh no. What could they be storing in all of these? It's a casino car. Expensive gems, gold, maybe rings too. Rings, you can find those lying out in the grass. That's no interest to us. Let's focus on the prize. Right, we gotta find the egg. No question. Blah, blah, blah. Press the code. Oh, and it's sweetheart. 230401. I wonder if that's like... March 1st, 2023. This must be an April Fool's joke. It's pretty good, though. <laughs> Oh wow, it's here. Ha 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 ha. I have it. Ba 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 ba. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows a secret because anyone who owes open one of them never lived a tale as well. You can open the egg? What? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't think you- I don't know if you should- All you need to do is twist. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> Rouge has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb. Uh, you're onto something good, sir, sir, sure sounds like I'm on. We need to dispose of the egg now. Dispose of it after all the hard work. Rouge. Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do as a bomb? Oh, smash the egg and eat the egg. Twist the egg. Eat the egg. Not without salt. Uh, uh, toss the egg in the elevator. We're not giving it an elevator. Okay, tell the egg to stop. Stop. They did nothing! Flip the egg upside down. I don't know, try it. <laughs> nothing happy. Yes. <laughs> uh, rock the egg to sleep. Uh, yes, everyone's always mad at the idea, guy. Let Rouge the kiss egg. As I say, love always prevails. Mwah. I still hear the ticking. Mm, what a prude. Uh, chaos control the egg away. Sayonaro, Shadow the Hedgehog. Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan. Worth a try. Blah, blah, blah. Still here ticking. However refreshing the breeze may be. Okay, new plan. Wait, I want to do Chaos Control. Where do you hear about Chaos Control? Doesn't matter. We, blah, blah, blah. we need an emerald. Uh, twist the egg again. Throw in lock of the save. Take one for the... Take one for the team! Here we go. Give it to me. Get, get as far away from you as can as possible. Just remember me as I am a hero. No, Alex, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to stop the microwave kids? Obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else quickly. Okay. What is obviously the right answer? Let it finish. That is the right answer. Let's twist the egg again. Great idea. Stop! It's not working! But Throw it and lock in the safe. Put it back! Erg, okay, back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The dare is staying open. What? Close the door and twist the tail. I obviously am. We don't have time to mess with this. But open it up and see if there's a wire to cut. You know, red wire, blue wire. You gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie, Alex. This is real life. Ah, uh, he's got a good boy. Smash it against the wall. Here goes nothing. Rouge. We uh should probably think of a different plan. Have blazed yes, uh, fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosions shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would natural neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Alex? Maybe. <laughs> Stomp on the egg! Just how I like my eggs smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Okay, we got <laughs> we got all of the dialogue. Still ticking. Let's just see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to depose of the bomb, Alex. This is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Alex, I think you're 
Oh, what's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Efficient, extremely accurate tech installed to assist in keeping the train spotless. Robotic arms, they do stuff. And they clean the messes and detect weapons or explosives. Wow, I was certainly thinking of that. Uh, yep. Yeah, the robot arms have lots of functions. If a bomb, they would notice. Blah, blah, blah. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't have allowed such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay. Uh... The egg open. It's hollow, not a bomb. After all, you both really are on the something. You. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right. All one of them out of the very only one I had. First try. Easy. Yeah, and I... And look what's inside. Oh, that's cute. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg. The real secret is how to pronounce Fabberg. Is a chow covered in gems. Those are circles. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabberg Chow Egg secret. Wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as his... I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as it has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their pose. Hope they subdued the drink coaster, fiend. Okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer never to do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in the bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. While I appreciate your assistance, it's it's as I said. It's it's it's, it's a finder's keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these he passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. This is the most suspicious couple out of any of them because we haven't interrogated them. We haven't done literally anything to like clear them of any suspicion. Rouge has just been wandering about. Shadow has been wandering about. Like literally nobody has seen Blaze except for maybe Espio when I don't know. Wow. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Alex. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Bro, Sonic characters should always just wear clothes. They're just so stylish in them. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, dude? Are you hungry? Not a lot of options, pal. Pass. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, if I need a bag of chips later, I'll holler. Uh, your alibi. Do you think you go over your alibi for us when Remy... I roped her in on my hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. You see Sonic? No. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had the time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. <gasps> but how do you know that Sonic- I guess Amy would have said something. Likewise. Okay. Pulling off that heist was more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? 
I'm content. Maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was nervous myself. You could... We could tell you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Uh, yeah, you're very uh, animated person. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Alibi. What's your alibi? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? We left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the egg. We talked to the casino car where we then went separate ways. I scoped and discovered the egg was here and after that I played the slot machines. The train did a solden jolt which was odd but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by Shadow Passer as well but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slot? I do actually. I kept winning so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits. That's an enormous payout. How did you? I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Alright. Any cool stuff? There's an arm. Uh, they do stuff. I wonder how they're controlled. Conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother when them... With them here, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. We can't talk to this guy. I want to know about his kids, though. Ooh, table. Dr. Eggman built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play in any of them. Well, blackjack or hold them. Blackjack. I don't know how to play that. Uh, it's easy. We don't have time. Okay. Ooh, slots, though. Yeah! Big money. Big money. I lost. Do you try it again? Yeah! Big money. Big money. Well, I lost. Do I try it again? Yes! Big money. Big money. Uh, I lost. Can you try it again? Yes. Alex, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? <laughs> I'm gonna get it this time. You'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe next time I'll get it. Yes, big money. Big money. Big mo You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Well, you aren't saying the same thing, so clearly I'm not that insane. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes, big money. Big money. I lost. <laughs> have you ever heard the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, I have. The phenomena where a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. Buh. Yeah. I've heard, of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money. Big money. Well, I lost. <laughs> Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right, big money, big money. I lost. Big money, 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 big money. Big money. <laughs> Don't worry. If it doesn't go in like the next three, I will edit. Well, gambling kids. Uh. Man... 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 Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. Haha, uh -huh. yeah, let's go. Man, we're at the like too long on that. Let's move on. More games. Don't let this on the... <laughs> yes! Let's play! Oh, I lost. Okay, 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 okay. Let's find you out. Let's do it. Oh, oh. I wanted to win big money. The lounge car. Oh, check those guys out. They're kind of grooving, aren't they? Yeah, this is music. Now is a good time as any to clean up my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking all those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. 
Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. Alright. We're like at the tail end of this. No pun intended. So let's look at the map one more time. As we've reached every single person. I think our real suspects here is it's definitely not Shadow. Rouge has her alibi. Vector and Knuckles have their alibis. Espio does not have a good alibi. Rouge had vouchers. It's also not a good uh, alibi. Especially considering she didn't see Rouge go through. And n since Rouge and Vector and Knuckles were all occupied, Blaze might have had an opportunity to sneak in and out. Uh, Shadow, on the other hand, I really doubt. It'd be too simple. We need to see the blueprints Rouge has. And maybe if we found out more, we would find out some more. Because this isn't enough information. There's probably a secret to the train. And last but not, we, last but not least, we have the captain here. Um, He's got a spooky portrait file. Come on. He is spooky. Anyway. Ramen sounds good. I'd also like to know why you've been locking the doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems uh, Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Alex, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Alex. Oh, he did it. He said the thing. So... I mean, like, a bad twist would be that either Amy did it, or Shadow did it, cause like... Come on, anyway. Wardrobe. It's got... What if something falls out, or someone leaps out? You should do it. Tails must open it. Tough love, I get it. Here goes nothing. Ah! Oh, it's just some sweaters. <laughs> See, not so bad, just dusty. <laughs> you. Yeah, I guess you're... Uh, boo! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Alex, I'm fragile! Ooh, lever. Tails, you see this? A bull string? Alex? What? It's gotta activate something. Wah! The back of the wardrobe open! There's a full passageway back here! Come on, we have to see where this leads! He's curious. This must mean something big. <gasps> I, s I call that! Oh my god, I knew there was something funky about the train. So, huh, that's crazy. Secret passage? I don't believe it. Shh, before they spot us. Let's think about this. Who could actually utilize this besides... We need to add the inventory, yeah. What's it say? Secret passage. It's a door handle, very cool. Um, uh, well that's what I get for investing. <laughs> Printer hooked up. Let's print something. Sonic draw. This printer is tricky to use. Tricky interface isn't clear, but I won't let it stump me. Whoa. Yep, that's what I asked for. Yeah. Let's print another one. Singing a song. Uh. Whoa. It's the OC. Uh, we got this. Bro, the OCs look so creepy. Anyway, key ring for the locksmith, two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring added. Uh, windows. You have to check this out. Wow, there's big. Spectacular. Want to dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Wow, me and Tails are twinsies. The lounge has a computer with internet for casual browsing. Seems convenient. It's a shame the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Broom. He's doing this thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell him to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you? Bring me a... Co wait. Okay. I'm car part to... I could run and get you and no, don't, 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 you don't need to, man. Buh. 
let's uh oh the chow band big chow band play us a ditty give us a jam that was spiritual i feel reawakened play us a ditty very jazzy they don't miss those chow understand music all right i don't see any Ooh, big chow bound take a beat visit music planet zone all right i think we're good unless there's like any funky stuff hiding now do we talk to the edgelord or the pink girl pink girl what have you been up to you caught up i'm surprised it took you so long to get here i thought you wanted to save sonic we've been thorough do you have any clues for us just a hot tip but all will be revealed in due time. I think I will be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. No way, journalist. Talk to Shadow. Okay. Can I take your order? Birthday cake. Cake. Dinner. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get a full-on dinner and can't have any cake. Yo, that's how it always is. Yep. I respect that. It just makes sense. Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. The stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Alex, we will certainly... We certainly will not. Okay. There's nothing I can help you with. Leave me be. Uh, okay, fine. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining core, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on a train? There's no better combo. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Dale's. Okay. What a- Oh, the, it's a trash can! No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Alex, and you've been disappointed every time. Tails, you don't get it. It's about persisting until you find success. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Alex? One must imagine, Oda. <laughs> there's always something in the trash bin. All right, mama. What's this? <laughs> it's a paper. Hot honey band. Interesting. It's Amy's band. Who cares? Let's add it. It's not just trash i'll let you have it there's always success if you find the treadmill look in the trash can i think we found enough clues let's interrogate shadow so let's what is this okay we're not gonna uncrumple it let's we're gonna interrogate now shadow we have some questions for you will you three get out i'm busy as i said i have an appointment to attend to sorry but this is important shadow we've questioned everyone on this train and every person has mentioned running into you you've been locking every door in this train and and i know why hold on is there music pray tell why was i locking all the doors time to reveal my hot tip hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly we're ready according to the map the next car is a conductor's car where sonic was stationed this door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to conductor's car following so shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone to keep sonic from escaping the conductor's car so you think shadow was trapping sonic i sure do he locked the conductor's car then locked all the other Others, so no one, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. That obviously makes sense, Amy. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Yeah, obviously. Exactly! I think Alex and I can explain the car change, however. Oh, he got the sparkly missing. Alex, pick out the evidence. Yep. Oh, 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 I'm not near- Oh, keyboard! Uh Okay, we need 55 of these bad boys. 
Uh. Oh, Pog. Oh, fireballs. Wait, is like Shadow directly interfering with me right now with his little chaos energy spears? Oh! No! Oh! We got plenty, and it wasn't that bad either. <laughs> Dream Gear. Alex and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car? Ex excellent work, Alex. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and then dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Ha, huh, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Uh, boo. I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Alex, do you have any guesses? Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio was reading Vector... Oh, well, Espio was reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me to. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car! Hmm... Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Not mine! Ah, oh, that'd be cool if it was Espio. Uh, but that'd be too easy. Shadow can't just say, but Espio's lying! Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Why? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would you locksmith be giving his keys? Shadow's been giving keys away. A lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps Alex and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Alex, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh! Let's do this. This might be a two-parter episode. I am like deep into recording. Oh, I'm not looking at the I'm looking at the recording time, not the game. We need 60 rings. Uh wait, why is the chaos spear still hitting us? Isn't he trying to like agree with us? We're trying to save him here. Bro. Wazda on the left and space on the right. There's only one reason there are exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espion Vector. No way! Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him into the dining car, then what possible reason could he have had for locking all these doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Alex and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? I don't know. First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Shadow's like, what? Uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood, thank you, Amy. Alex? Ah, yes, Tails. I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Ah, uh, Shadow couldn't find us. Shadow wanted to keep us away. Shadow wanted to keep us away? No, he couldn't find us. We were locked inside a room. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument, so maybe. But he couldn't find us. Ah, uh, but he couldn't find us. Because we were trapped. I guess he wanted to keep us away. 
Not us, Alex. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he be keeping Amy away? What? Excuse- Oh. Oh, <laughs> he forgot to get her a birthday present. That's what this is about, isn't it? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? How dare. Alex, show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or what? What's your- What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence? I don't know. Maybe... Oh, That's right. He was trying to research her favorite band? Or maybe it was a ticket? I have no clue. I should have read that closer. It just said, Bobo, Amy threw away a piece of paper, but apparently Shadow threw away something, so maybe he was looking for a birthday gift for her, but then decided not to get it for her, and he's avoiding her to avoid the embarrassment of not getting her something on her birthday. Wow, how wholesome, Shadow. At least that's what I'm assuming is going on here. Yay, we did it. Easy. That was pretty intense. I, like, shut up the entire time. <laughs> You were rooting through the- you were- you went rooting through the trash. Huh, what is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a- it's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! Gasp! Oh, this is Hot Honey's website? No way, I love them. Uh, Hot huh, Honey, it's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is Psy, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yes, he he, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car that Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much cleaner. Clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Honey, the Hot Honey Bands ticket website exists because... <laughs> Shadow's a big hot honey fan. Leave. Now. Uh, don't know what kind of music Shadow listens to, but it's obviously not this. So Shadow must have been buying concert tickets as a birthday gift for Amy. Whoa. Busted. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow, I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. Can't believe this after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault here. Ah, oh, sorry, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm, when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen a hot honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would soon would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away a while while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. Plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, your gesture is so sweet, and I cue, and after I accuse you too, how about this? Let's buy tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. E, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the... I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. <laughs> I'm an edgelord. <laughs> Seems a mystery of Shadow's locked doors have fin has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. 
Amy, I'm curious, who is a source for your uh, big scoop? I'd like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles may stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. Who's it going to be, gamers? Uh, so, let's look at this again. This is our most likely culprit. Lord, we're, we're going to pretend like this isn't the... This is too obvious. I don't like this idea of him being the... So, he's not the one. But this, this is a much more fun idea. But they already said we have a passage here. Shadow has accused him of lying. So, he's had no alibi this whole time. If he murdered Sonic, he would have had to gone past Knuckles, Vector, and Shadow at some point. And maybe he did. I don't know. But we do know <coughs> that if Shadow went to this car first, and Vector was able to sneak into here and get Sonic, or here, I guess, wherever he went, he could have came back while Vector was with Knuckles, and when Shadow came to this car to look for Espio, Espio could have made his way down here and dropped Sonic off. And then came back up here. But Espio being too bluntly obvious here is kind of suspicious. I don't know. I don't feel like it was Rouge. Rouge has her, you know, every single person she's talked to. And Blaze is also not a great... Yeah... Shadow would have came back and passed by everybody. Nobody mentioned anything otherwise anyway. Although nobody's really specifically said, we saw Shadow, but then we didn't see him on the way back. So anyway, Shadow hasn't said he saw anyone and didn't see anyone on the way back except for Espio. So he doesn't have an alibi. But this doesn't account for times when Shadow was not in the car. Oh, I'm going way too deep into this. <sighs> We're more than happy to have you both. Alex, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Ready to go? Yeah. It's now or never.